factors to consider in deciding whether to get the COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy, even before more data is available, is first, the likelihood of exposure to COVID-19. For those people who have a high risk of exposure because of their job, for example, such as healthcare workers or in-person educators, both the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists, as well as the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, the national organizations who make recommendations for pregnancy, encourage women to receive the COVID vaccine series after completion of the first trimester of pregnancy. Next, you should consider the risk of COVID-19 to yourself and the potential risk to your unborn baby. Pregnant people with underlying health problems such as hypertension, diabetes, lung conditions, obesity, or renal disease should also consider completion of the COVID-19 vaccine series during pregnancy when it becomes available to them. The side effects are not expected to be any different for pregnant women than they are for others. Arm soreness is almost certainly going to occur. Fever and body aches occur in some as well. Pregnant women who experience a fever or body aches following vaccination can safely take Tylenol to help reduce these symptoms. Serious allergic reactions are quite rare but have occurred, as can happen with any vaccine or medication. If you have a history of severe allergic reactions, you should discuss this with your healthcare provider prior to receiving the vaccine. You should also be monitored for at least 15 minutes after receiving each injection to assure that you do not have a serious allergic response. Unfortunately, breastfeeding women were also excluded from the initial mater Moderna and Pfizer studies. Those studies too are occurring right now. Never before has any FDA approved vaccine been shown to be detrimental to breastfeeding women or their babies, and all routine vaccines are recommended while breastfeeding. Based on how mRNA vaccines work, there is no reason to believe that either a COVID-19 vaccine would be any different. Already, at least tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of breastfeeding healthcare workers in our country have received the vaccine without complications to them or their babies. When you qualify by our state guidelines to receive the vaccine, completion will be strongly encouraged regardless of whether you are breastfeeding or not. Pregnant or not, breastfeeding or not, and whether or not you have completed the vaccine series, everyone should continue to follow the current guidelines to curb this COVID-19 pandemic. This means wearing a mask, staying at least six feet apart from others, avoiding crowds, washing hands appropriately, following the CDC guidelines in regards to travel, and following quarantine guidelines after confirmed or likely exposure to COVID-19. Please discuss with your obstetrical provider to find out if the vaccine is right for you. You can also learn more about the vaccine at tanner.org forward slash vaccine. Take your shot at fighting COVID and receive vaccination when it's appropriate for you.